Hey y'all, Steve here. Hey, recently Final Cut Pro 10 upgraded to the new 10.3 version. Well, that's all well and good. However, I immediately noticed that from the older version to the new version, I had lost all of my audio and music files. The older version, there was a really easy way to access your music files and you basically dragged folders. I'm not going to go into that. I finally figured out how to achieve the same, get my audio and music moved into Final Cut Pro 10. So let's let's go there. Let's do that right now. I'm going to try to be as brief as possible, um, but let's do this. Okay, so right up here in the left upper left corner now is where you're going to find your music and your photos, iTunes, etc. You got photo, iPhoto, GarageBand, iTunes, and sound effects. So whereas it what used to be, you know, in your effects in the lower right, it's up there in the upper left now. So every one you click, if you're used to seeing your own music that you have installed, it's not there. But I'm going to show you how to put it in sound effects and how you can access your own music now. Okay, the first thing that you're going to have to do is you are going to have to find where that sound effects is on your Mac. I've got it laid out here for you. All you have to do is go to your Macintosh HD, click library, click audio, Apple Loops, Apple, Final Cut Pro sound effects, and then what you're going to see here is ambience, animals, explosions, foley, etc. Now if you scroll down right here, what I have highlighted is a folder that I made. You're not going to see that initially. What you're going to do is you're going to create your own folder in Final Cut Pro sound effects. And this is where you're going to put all of your own music. Okay, let's look at this once again. Sound effects right here. And what we're going to do, we're finding these sound effects. Final Cut Pro sound effects. We're going to add a folder. So what I've done is I just went up to File and click New Folder. Okay, that's all you have to do. Click New Folder and name it whatever you want to. In my case, I named it Steve's Music. And as you can see, I've got many uh, folders over here in the right, and they have different uh, uh, different means. And that's, I'm assuming that's what, you know, you probably have your different music in different folders. So now once you've created your folder here under Final Cut Pro Sound Effects, all you got to do is find your folders of music and drag it into this particular column right here okay and that is literally it you're done now what you're going to do is you're going to go back to Final Cut Pro 10 10.3 you're going to look in your sound effects and it's not going to be there okay so I want you to restart Final Cut Pro just go up to Final Cut Pro quit Final Cut Pro and restart it when you restart it come here to sound effects click it and up here in the right hand, up in the upper right of this uh, browser, you are now going to find all of the music that you've put into Final Cut. So right there, Steve's music. I click that and look at here. Over here on the left side, this is all of my music. So now I have access to all of my music within Final Cut Pro 10. I hope this helps. It's kind of confusing. It was very aggravating, but it's really not that hard once you figure it out. So I hope this helps you, and I'll see you in the next video.